Designing and building websites has never been more fun, more easy, and more profitable than it is right now. And the reason is because of these insane AI tools that I'm about to show you right now. Figma's AI is starting to be able to do some pretty cool things. You can see I've turned on the AI element over here and I'm just going to paste a prompt inside and I'm looking for a site map for a website that sells royalty free audio tracks, plugins, apps for Ableton and different stuff like that. Doesn't matter what it is, but I'm asking AI to generate for me some kind of site map. And when I go ahead and press generate, you're going to see that Figma's AI is going to do all of that minutia, all of that busy work to create a really complex sitemap. So let's zoom in and see what it gave us. Here's the main page and we have a couple of different options, exploring templates, browsing audio tracks, and then maybe going to the checkout page. And on that, we have all the information architecture that is actually corresponding to it. Now, I might want to come in and edit this a little bit and change some of these, but you can do all of that. And the biggest thing is that it saved me tons of time. I don't want to drag and drop all of these sitemap boxes. I'm going to let AI do it for me. Next up, we have Wix Studio. Wix Studio is going to be very helpful while you are building your website. And they have some really cool AI as I click on any section in my website that's going to allow me to use AI to create all the responsive versions and adaptations of my website. By simply clicking on responsive AI, it's going to say, hey man, we're going to get responsive sections all for all devices using AI. Cool. Let's generate that right now. And you'll see that it's going to go through and ebb and flow and it's going to relay out everything so that it makes sense and actually looks really, really good on all of these different device sizes. This is saving me time. This is making my job easier and it's making my websites accessible on all device sizes. Check that out. It has gone ahead and done the work and I can preview that work. Let's just apply the changes that were made there and we could start to ebb and flow and see actually if we preview our site like so and see that happening and we get not only responsive but we get adaptive, right? So it's going to hit certain sizes and it's going to say, hey, we got to flip over to different typography sizes, different usage of the imagery there. And all of this was done with one click using AI inside of Wix Studio. Mwah! Chef's choice. Where Wix Studio actually helps us to build our websites inside of a website builder and to make them responsive, the new plugin for Figma called Musho is going to help you generate ideas and it says get you 80% of the way on your designs. So we can jump over to a Figma file and open up the Musho plugin and we put in another prompt for a royalty free audio track website. And we're just going to go ahead and press click and you will see that Musho is going to go to work. It's going to be generating a couple of different things for us. It's going to be hitting layout. It's going to be doing imagery. It's going to be doing all the different content for the sections of our website and it's going to be pulling it all together in one landing page. Right now, Musho is very, very good at landing pages, singular pages. You see right there, it's building our navigation for us. It's starting to put in some sort of sign up, call to action, all the different components and elements. And when it's done, it is going to have one full design for us that we can start to riff on. We can start to change. And it even gave us some really cool names. Look, it's already telling us it's going to name our project Soundstock. We had no name for it, but it's coming up with that work for us. Let's move this over here so we can see it kind of building in real time. I think it's just kind of fun sometimes to sit back and watch AI actually design in the browser for me. And I don't have to do a single bit of it. I just get to sit back and experience it all happen. There goes some imagery. We got some typography. We got some different content. We have layout here and it's taken that prompt and working through to generate something pretty much 80% of the way. There it is. It says it's pretty much done. There might be slight changes that need to pl take place here. That's okay. Not the greatest on our headline here. Maybe we want to rework that background, but it has given us a couple of things, right? It's given us some pricing plans and 
some kind of marketing moments and a nice footer. Now, again, whether or not you love this, whether or not this is the end all be all, it is pretty cool that it got some stuff on the page. And I think what Musho is really great at is getting past that blank canvas, which is super scary for a lot of designers, to start generating ideas. Definitely something to take a look at. Content is still very much king when it comes to websites. And I know that a lot of people are huge chat GPT fans for creating content, but I'm a really big fan of Claude and Claude is just like ChatGPT. It's an AI technology that allows us to generate words with some prompts. I've gone ahead and opened up my free account of Claude. I already have a previous chat that I did for this. I told it to act as a digital marketing expert that helps me to increase sales and I need content for my website that sells royalty-free music, all that kind of stuff. And I told it which pieces of the website to generate for me, headline and subheadline, an overcoming objections section, value propositions. And I told it to do it in the style of Donald Miller, who, if you don't know, is kind of a marketing guru genius type of guy. And this is what Claude gave me, a full readout of headline and subheadline overcoming objections section, value props, benefits, and features. Gave me a long format SEO rich section. I told it to be very long and very SEO rich. And it even gave me some social proof, some testimonials from fake people, but it gave me all the copy. I can literally take all of this copy, lift it, drag it into my layouts that maybe was generated through Musho or that I've designed inside of Figma or wherever, put those into something like Wix Studio and I got a website with really, really good copy. Now, when it comes to image generation, I still think hands down to this day, Mid Journey is your best bet. I've opened up Mid Journey and while imagining or creating is coming very soon inside of midjourney.com, it's still gonna have you work things out through the Discord channel. You can see here, I put in a prompt for a hip person wearing headphones working on music production software. And this is what Mid Journey has generated for me. I like all of these. Maybe this is more of the vibe that I'm looking for. The second one up here, I would definitely come down and say upscale number two and give me maybe even some versions of number two. This is why Mid Journey is so great. We have things like consistent character generation. We have things like upscaling, sizing, zooming out, lots of great commands for all of the stuff that can happen here in Mid Journey. So if I really like this and I wanna zoom out maybe, you know, two times and get a little bit more of the background, this is so helpful for generating imagery for your website. So I use Mid Journey all the time and I highly encourage you to because it's the quickest, actually most effective way to be able to find something you like, hone in on that thing and keep refining those prompts until you get exactly what you're looking for. And this is, in this case, exactly what I'm looking for. So mid journey for the win. Adding typography to your website is a big deal. And whether you knew it or not, fontjoy.com is actually an AI driven font pairing technology. So as we start to generate really cool font pairings, I find one that's maybe a little bit of futuristic. I like that. I'm gonna lock that top one and it's going to use AI technology to keep finding pairings that work well with whatever I've chosen. I can also hone in and get really, really deep dive here, but it's just full of amazing font pairings. And so sometimes I'll just come here and generate, generate, generate until I find something that I really, really like, and then I'll just go with it. That's fontjoy.com. Color palettes are another one of those things that really at this point, we should not be generating custom on our own. AI is just really, really smart at creating color palettes and color mind is a great place to do it. We can go ahead and generate really cool color palettes here. We can go and upload images and find templates and use colors. Uh, we can even do the same thing and kind of lock a color that we like, come in here and it's gonna use AI to find other corresponding colors that work well. Let's say we really like this one. I can export these colors. I can also just go through website colors here and it's going to apply the colors that I choose to the website. So you can see I have these colors down here. Let's regenerate. We have more of this pinkish color or these blue colors. As I scroll down, it's showing them actually applied to some sort of website layout for me. 
that is very, very helpful, including a lot of the UI components like buttons and tables and different things. So again, when it comes to generating color, I would go with something like Color Mind, make that color palette, run with it, start building that website. Last on the list is another mind-blowing technology, and that is UIZert or Wizard, whatever you wanna call it. It has its auto designer, which is an AI generating designer. We're gonna put in that prompt for a website that sells royalty-free audio tracks. We're gonna go desktop here, and we can even describe a style that we want. Let's go dark and modern. Let's generate something like that. And let's see what AI comes up with for us. And just like that, Wizard has created an AI generated layout. Let's check out and see how it did. I'm gonna zoom in here a little bit. It even titles them for us. Check this out. This is our landing page. Let's hide all of this stuff. So it's given us a color palette, dark and modern. Uh, it's given us some, again, AI generated imagery and layout and color palette and the whole shebang here. It's showing us like tracks and Oh, they're doing some kind of cool stuff down here and showing us featured creators in this gallery thing. Don't love some of the bubbly effects of these shapes, but again, we can come in and fix that, either editing it directly here inside of Wizard or UIZard, or maybe we can just pull this out and use it as inspiration. We also have a search page, kind of like moving into the search or web application version. Pretty cool. Got some tags here, different products over there. Uh, we can come in and see maybe the product page that has kind of like product images. That's kind of interesting, adding things to the layout. or And then we even have a cart page, which out of all of these, I think I really love the cart page the most. It is really just kind of like simple and easy. Um, it's a pretty good experience. And then for some reason, we have some sort of map page, even though we're ordering digital products. So it's got some work to do, but I know for a fact that they are continuing to expand the capabilities of this auto designer. It's definitely something to get you past that empty page and start getting those creative juices flowing and maybe find something that you like using Auto Designer by Wizard. Well, that's it. Those are a bunch of insane AI tools that can help kickstart your projects, lay things out for you, create responsive designs inside of Wix Studio, build all the content. It's gonna make it easy. It's gonna make it fast. It's gonna make it fun again to design and build and sell websites. Let me know what you think about these tools down in the comments. Do you love them? Do you hate them? Are you interested in them? Maybe there's some tools I missed out on. Let me know down there in those comments. Also check the description for links to each of the tools that I talked about today. I hope you're having an amazing week designing really rad stuff. And if you're looking for more videos, check out this one or this one, and we'll see you in the next video.